okay so I wanted something different today so I'm doing some chicken skewers won't be cooking them but I'm going to show you how to make them um, at home because I know uh, you guys probably love skewers you might put different things on it some people put shrimp some people make beef I'm making chicken and peppers okay thank you so much for the stars guys also if you want to follow me on my other platform uh, forms please go to the link tree if you guys can hear me please put up a heart some hearts so I can know that you can hear me and we're going to get started in a little bit well, how's everyone doing I see the 81s coming up and I see the hundreds so welcome to both of you guys home is something else thank you so much for the stars cooking at home I really had to get used to it guys um this is something else I still don't feel comfortable going out to eat probably will not feel comfortable going out to eat I just won't um, I'm on a very I'm not gonna say strict I don't like strict but I'm on a serious diet guys I'm on a low carb darn near no carb we're not you know you have to have carbs, but you don't have to have the traditional carbs like rice, potatoes, and things like that. I actually got some uh, chickpea noodles. I would love to show you guys. You want me to show you some nice chickpea noodles <laughs> that I'm going to try out one day and see how they are? I wanted to um, just basically clean out my system. And when I say clean, like re reset my system, because I just felt like since I haven't been as active as I'm you know usually am and I just felt like oh, I don't feel my my best so I decided to start to um, thank you so much for the stars to uh, basically go low carb and do like a candida diet I don't know if you guys have heard of candida but it's a fungus so if you are suffering um, with BV or uh, yeast infections or odors or any kind of inf even like scalp conditions like uh, dandruff Let's see if that's dandruff <laughs> like dandruff uh, eczema things like that uh, change your diet nobody is gonna tell you that but Jenna will so make sure that you are following me on all of my platforms so you guys can digest the information that I give uh, daily all right so let's see are we at five we're almost at five minutes guys what are you guys eating today I hope you're eating something healthy guys usually uh, I'm eating healthy all the time I mean like when you're doing like this type of diet of low carb and all of that it's really uh, <laughs> it's not too many unhealthy things that you can eat and you also like you learn um, moderation moderation is key and so what I'm doing is I'm exercising now as well doing some cardio I do the Wii as well the Michael Jackson experience I love it they also have on the Wii, uh, Wii U um, some other games you can play that'll help you get moving I think it's called like some some other stuff whatever but I would really uh, you know suggest to anybody who wants to exercise more to get like a, a old-school Wii U it's awesome that's what I do daily and it works and I alternate my um, I alternate my my regimens like my my exercise I don't do the same thing every day so I'll do more cardio one day I also today I actually implemented weight uh, weight training so I'm starting to lift weights as well so to all my people who just maybe do walking or or jogging or whatever lifting weights especially for us women is very beneficial so I would suggest that you do that as well um, especially for women who have glucose issues I think we're at five minutes guys so yes here we are this is my chicken skewer and so somebody said they're having homemade rice frozen bananas yeah that's a lot of sugar honey I ain't reading the rest of that okay guys so I got this chicken and I have my red pepper and I have my onion and so I'm gonna I've already seasoned it I seasoned my um, chicken already with jerk seasoning and curry and 
what you do is I had some frozen peppers I didn't know I was gonna do this but if you're gonna get your fresh peppers you're gonna kind of like cut them nice and chunky okay cut them nice and chunky so you can make some nice skewers okay so you do meat vegetable meat maybe you can do another meat piece of chicken And then we're going to do an onion. Got my chunky onion here. So when you guys are paying for that in the stores, you can actually get this and do this yourself. It'll be cheaper. So yeah, I'm doing this uh, low carb and I love this because this is definitely low carb. I don't have to worry about it. I might have a little bit of brown rice when I say a little bit, like literally like a spoonful and that's it. How does that look? I'm gonna put a little bit more on. If you got this from the store, one of these will probably be like That broke, that's trash. I'll go ahead and put this on here. There you go. And when I put this into my um, oven, I'm gonna put some lemon on it as well for it to cook and get that nice flavor. You guys think that's big enough or should I make it bigger? Ah, it's dripping on me. to get my uh my thumbnail okay so i'm gonna put another piece of chicken on somebody said big enough okay there you go all right that looks good I almost know for sure this doesn't have enough like salt on it. I don't know. I don't know. I can kind of like look at that and feel like it needs. Okay, so the skewers, guys, you can get them right from the store. They're like $3. They're not that expensive. And because this is at home, guys, I'm making it nice, nice and meaty. I use that broken onion. You can put some olive oil. I'm probably gonna, thank you so much for the stars. Um, put some olive oil on here as well. Olive oil is my friend. I am also, um, I'm loving olives. I, you know, I dislike very passionately that olives come in a can and they're so sweet you know, so um, salty. I hate that. But olives are so, you know, they have some great benefits for you. Somebody said intermittent fasting. I do. I mean, I feel like everyone intermittent fasts. I mean, it's, you know, no one sits around and just eats all day. And of course, you don't, you know, eat when you're sleeping. So I don't know. I intermittent fast all the time, like every day. I think that's probably been a very uh, good thing for me. I've been doing for years. Like, I don't sit around and just eat all the time. Um, but I've gotten better with that. And when you're doing low carb or what they would call keto, I don't consider myself keto. I'm just, you know, not eating all that other stuff. When you get to my age, you have to be uh, more aware of what you're placing inside of your body. The type of onions that I'm using are, I think, sweet onions. Sweet onions. Now these peppers are getting kind of dainty a little bit only because I didn't know that I was going to be doing this. So what I do is when I get my peppers, guys, I actually uh, cut them up and, you know, very small and put them in my refrigerator. I mean, put them in my freezer so they don't go bad. That's what I do for most of my fresh 
my fresh stuff that's what I do because fresh stuff goes goes bad pretty quickly okay I think I'm gonna just that's it there you go has anybody tried this before if not try it you can eat these all year round I know a lot of people like to put these on the grill that's a big onion look at that onion that's a big onion so when I place this in my pan I'm going to actually have it lined with parchment paper And I'm going to put my oven probably on 400 degrees. I am going to place foil and parchment paper on top. And I'm going to let them cook probably like an hour or so. Then, so they can nice and brown. Of course, before they even cook, I'm going to put some olive oil and some maybe a little bit more seasoning to make sure they're good and seasoned. Because I don't like shaking salt on my food when it's done. Who wants to do that? I used to do that when I was younger. And it really makes your feet fat. <laughs> it makes your feet fat. So it's not good to shake salt on your food. It's best to season your food. Okay, guys. So we got some more peppers over here. They're going to be a little small. Remember, guys, you look, that's, that's, that's small. But, I mean, you can, because they're small, I can put a few on. So, yeah, I'm going to put my... Uh, Ooh, make sure you don't stick yourself because they are sharp. And these are frozen. Ah! Oh! They're frozen. I so didn't know I was going to do this. I, I really didn't. So I'm going to put your um, olive oil, salt, and lemon. I'll put lemon on mine. You can put lime as well. And you know these are vegetables, right? So you know how they look now. They look nice and vibrant and juicy. Then when you cook them, they're going to cook down. And it's no even promise that these are actually, because I'm going to bake them. Some people bake them or grill them. I don't know. So, I mean, you can get the children in the kitchen to help you out. This is a nice little project. And it's so much cheaper than buying it out. You guys think it should have another one? Let me put another one on here. So I've already made, let me put two in the camera. Okay, so I made two. Actually, I've made three. More than likely, I'm just gonna make four because I don't want to thank you so much for the stars. I don't really want to make overage, if you will, because I don't see myself heating them back up. I, you know, I don't like leftovers kind of sort of like, not like this. You want this nice and fresh, you know? Uh, but yeah, I think four, it'll be just for me and my husband. <gasps> thank you so much for the stars guys. If you're watching this anywhere else, you can donate. On all the information is in the description. All right, so we got some. Get some pepper. Put this pepper on here. I could probably split this pepper. 
but make sure you make your like I said make your peppers nice and chunky because look you can't you, when they're small like this you can't put it on there it's not gonna stay isn't that a bummer mm. some meals you have to plan you can't you can't do it on the spot I'm, I'm, I'm like an on the spot type girl But as you can see, I am sitting down. Sitting down is awesome. You do not have to stand up and cook all the time. There you go. These are so pretty and these are carry. I love curry. Curry is really my spice of the season. I literally eat curry every day. Curry has some awesome properties um, for your blood pressure, for your glucose. Ladies, it's great for heavy cycles. I mean, it's just, you know, the, the base root of, of curry, of course, is curcumin and things like that. And it's just so good for you. It's no salt in it, so you know, you can shake as much as you want. And you're just getting those good seasonings, guys. I hope I'm giving you some ideas. You know, sometimes when you're eating, like, like me, healthy and, you know, trying to be so conscious of what you place in this, in this body, you're kind of like, what can I eat? And so what happens is you end up eating more meat, being low carb, and that's not what you want to do. You want to make sure that you eat in color. And so one thing that I love about this meal or this, this, this little project I'm doing is um, it's telling me to eat in color, okay? Peppers, let's just talk about it. Peppers are full of vitamin C. And I think we need a lot of vitamin C nowadays, don't you, get, don't you think? Vitamin C is awesome for your um, immune system. It's also awesome just for every organ in your body. It's, it's great for your skin. If you're looking for energy, it's great for that as well. So vitamin C is in all of your fruits and your vegetables. So if you're not getting that, you are missing out on the, on the you're missing the ball game or, 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 or you know, if you will. Okay. So that's why I love eating more of a low carb diet because you're kind of like getting away from all of those uh, noodles and potatoes, which fills you up, but it also puts a lot of extra fat on you. You know what I mean? And vegetables ain't going to do that. Okay. Is it perfect? If I, you know, no, it's not because nothing's perfect and, and you have to figure out what's good for you. But I know that I have more energy when I don't have to break down so much, so many carbs. You know, when you have glucose conditions, glucose issues, um, one thing you don't wanna do is you don't wanna pile your, your, your plate with carbs because it's gonna cause stress on your body. I mean, it causes a stress on everyone's body. And when I say that, I mean like the complex carbs, like bread. That's one thing that I have cut out as well. Another thing is I cut out bread and yeast and, and wheat gluten. <laughs> So I'm, I'm being serious, ain't I? Oh yeah, so I think I'm doing two major things. I've cut out wheat gluten, yeast, and I've also cut down substantially about 80% carbs, okay? So if you see me losing weight, that's why, it is what it is. And I up my cardio, I up my exercise. So it's not just about diet, hi, I see you. It's not just about diet, it's also about exercise. I even say that, Hello, <laughs> look at that ring twisting. That fluid is leaving my hands. When you are retaining fluid, that's not a good thing, okay? That's saying that something is stressed out, i.e. your heart. And um, I'm here to tell you, we, we don't want that. We don't want that extra anything. So one way you know that you're retaining fluid is if your rings are not fitting you, if your shoes aren't fitting you correctly, you're retaining fluid. That means you might want to hold back on some of those carbs because when you eat carbs, you put on water weight. When I say carbs, a lot of carbs. Here we go. This is mostly going to be onion, guys, because these little tiny onion, these little tiny things, let's see if I can get them on there. Okay. Okay. We can, we can work with it. We 
can work with it, guys. Make sure you guys are following me on all of my social media. I do have a TikTok. Yes, I'm 39 and I do TikTok. But my TikTok are like these, kind of sort. I do a little bit of um, little comedies on there as well, little whatever, um, what's, what's, what's happening on there. But for the most part, I do little tidbits of health. So please check me out. Everything is at my link tree, guys. There you go. Yes, yes, yes. Guys, I think this is it. I'm not going to do too much. Only because, you know, I don't, we, we don't eat like that. That's another thing, like when you go low carb, and if you're a person who's always hungry, and you think that you're not going to be able to be low carb because you feel like you'll be always hungry, it's actually the opposite. Um, since I have been um, eating low carb, I feel like the UPS man. I don't know if you guys used to watch Mad TV, <laughs> but remember when the UPS guy, he could never stay still? Um, so I have so much energy, uh, now that I don't eat all of that and I don't have to eat as much like at one time I eat throughout the day. So it's, you know, it's kind of like a rabbit thing. Like you just, you know, I eat a lot of salads and, um, and things like that. That's basically all I do now. And you just have a different energy at that moment. You don't feel tired. I get up in the morning, um, refreshed which is awesome. So if you're looking for that, guys, please check me out. I'm hey also guys, a holistic This is for you guys, exclusive footage on YouTube. So if you guys see me on the other platform, make sure you are coming over here and subscribing because sometimes I'll add some extra stuff for my YouTube subscribers. And thank you to everyone who's actually subscribed, guys. I appreciate you. Okay, so remember, we're just skewers, right? All right. So I'm going to put some olive oil, extra E-B-O-O, -O, extra virgin olive oil, as my girl Rachel Ray used to say. Because like I said in the video, I'm almost certain that these are not salted enough. Because I'm like very uh, picky on how much salt I place on my food. But I don't want to have to place salt, salt on my food after it's done either. So one thing I was taught by a family member is you can take salt off, but you can't, I'm sorry, you can put salt on, but you can't take it off. So what we do is we're just going to put some nice pink Himalayan salt, shake it, we're going to turn them around, hey y'all, come on now, you know this going to be good, y'all want to come over to my house. Like Teddy P said, come on over to my place. Oh, yeah, you're going to be good. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't? I mean, this looks like, you know, honey, this should be something that we have Teddy Pendergrass playing in the background. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Having Teddy telling us to turn the lights off. Uh, oh, oh, Barry White. So, oh, no, 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 no. No, no Barry White. No Barry no White. White. He's too. So, this is so delicious. Is, no Barry White. He's too. He, I don't know what's up with Barry, <laughs> Barry White, but he, he a little too much for me. All right, so we're going to get some. But okay, if you want Barry White, Barry White it is. So, this is so delicious. <laughs> yes. I've been waiting a long time for yeah. this. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Barry White will get you pregnant over the radio. <laughs> You know? Okay. I mean, Can't get enough of this. <laughs> exactly. And that's really how I show that I love my husband. I cook for him. Because the better you cook for your man, the better he can treat you, honey. A man who ain't happy, he ain't gonna treat you right. And like those school people say, the best way to a man's heart is to his stomach. To his stomach, yeah. That ain't never changed, ladies. It ain't gonna never change. All right, guys, so we're going to put some lemon. I want a lemon kick, y'all. Y'all can do lime, too. I'm sure y'all have heard of putting lime and stuff on it. I'm trying not to put my hand in the, in the camera, y'all. Okay. And so what the lemon does, so you don't have to put so much salt, is it's going to bring out the flavor. You feel me? It's like, for some reason... Sometimes we'll salt our food up and you still can't taste it. Yeah. But when you put citrus on, on food, it just brings out the flavors that you savor. All right, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this up. I'm going to put um, some more parchment paper on top and foil on the bottom so foil doesn't touch my food. And I'm going to cook that for about an hour and a half. 
Then I'm going to take it off the, you know, uh, I'm going to take the foil off and then cook it for maybe another 20, 30 minutes. I have to watch it until it's golden brown, guys. I hope that helps you guys out. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you are liking the video. Put thumbs up the video and subscribe, guys. We'll see you next time.